Um, today we've been following up on our topic work um, we started, um, which is island life. Um, following on from yesterday's session, which was looking at maps, introduce the, the island, um, we were using a paint package to create um, the children's own rep representation of the island, um, trying to include geographical features, human um, and physical features, um, and labelling, and also imagining that we'd been to the island and writing a postcard back home, explaining things we've been up to, things they might have seen, and just trying to really um, link together the geography, the, li the literacy, um, and develop the children's sense of place. Um, so we're looking at a way of trying to engage the whole class, developing their skills in ICT and, and applying them across the curriculum. Because they've all got their own laptop, they're all the same, they've all got the same thing on them. There's no kind of, oh, he's got, she's got. Um, and they'll sit and because they're so small and portable, they'll be sat in one part of the classroom and they'll get up and go across the other side of the classroom and show their friend, oh, look what I've done here. How have you done that? Let's show me. And they're giving instructions to each other. The, the speaking and listening skills there are fantastic. They're even teaching adults who come into the class and aren't familiar with the technology how to use it. The some of the classroom support, then they don't feel confident with ICT. After five or ten minutes sat with a child, they're like, oh, I can do that now. Um, they they've definitely had a benefit on children with identified as having special needs. Um, previously, activities such as writing, the, the kind of traditional recording methods might not have been so easy for them to access and w would have required a lot of... Um, adaptation to, to meet their needs. For the boys it's definitely impacted on their concentration, they're kind of engaging independently in activities, choosing to take the laptop and work on, on their own activities as well as those in class. Well it's definitely had an impact on their kind of letter recognition, um, we do focus quite highly on phonics um, it was a concern, the lower uppercase key thing. It's not proved to be a problem and actually finding that the you, because they're using the keys, the type in the words, when they then come to actually writing in their books back with the pencils, that that's having an impact on their writing because they've got so used to spelling the words and, and looking at the letters on the, on the keys. When they're writing, that's then transferred far more easily that they're, they're asking less how do you spell how do i write because they've been using the, the the keyboard and looking at the letters when they're typing we've been trying some classroom management software um, which has really opened up the the use of the laptops within lessons because you could freeze the children's laptops and they can't do anything which automatically brings their attention back to the front of class we've got all our laptops then go on to the paint then when we finished it, we clicked save and then we went on Starfish Writing. And then we saved it on BLA. And we've been going on Starfish Writer to write a postcard to our mums, dads, brothers or sisters or cousins. Everybody in our family. Oh. When Miss May sees us what we're doing, she can lock us. And, we, and it says, eyes to the front, please. And we've got a lot of camera. You can go on easy, it's got like a camera and it's a top of computer. computer. And then you go on to, and you can do a picture or a filming. Type stone stuff. If we want to change it, we press a button at the change writing and there's loads of different kind of ones like handwriting and um, the, the size and all. Are fortunate to get um, funding to provide all of the children in the class with the um, T-Mobile dongle um, which allows them access to internet at home. Only about 30% of the children in, in the whole of the school have access to internet or broadband at home. Um, so obviously in our class that's broken down that barrier because now 100% of the children can access the internet at home. Um, so we invited all parents in to, to a kind of handover meeting where we ran through what it was we were trying to achieve, what it was we were hoping that they would bring to the project, what the child would bring to the project. Um, and that actually got rid of a lot of their fears. They, they were very happy when they learnt that the internet would go through all the same filtering systems as in school, the programmes were just like they would use in school, um, accessing 
internet activities set up from school and just ones that are out there on the web. I feel after, what, we six months the children have had them, five, six months, they can now operate them without any adult interaction. The laptops have definitely had an impact on, on the children and they're, they're teaching them basically skills for life. They're, they're learning how to use the word processors, they're learning how to access the internet, how to use Google. It's definitely having an impact right now, but in terms of as they get older, they're going to have these IT skills that they'll just be using for the rest of their lives.